We humans are amazing creatures. We may not be the strongest or the quickest creatures, but we are the smartest, and our ability to adapt to our environment like no other creature allows us to explore the entire globe. We're a jack of all trades and a master of none, which might sound negative, but actually means that we have more of the tools needed to not only survive, but thrive on Earth. But what is it about us that makes us so special? And what amazing biological advantages have we developed over the millions of years of our evolution? This is the Insane Biology of Humans. First, let's look at speech. It's the single most useful thing we have to communicate complex ideas with people all over the world. The biology that allows us to speak, like the larynx and the vocal tract, is present in other creatures like chimps. So how come they can't talk to each other like we can? Put simply, it's because of the brain, and more precisely, the size of the brain. Other primates and us feature the two features needed for speech the cortical association areas that control voluntary control over behavior, and the brainstem nuclei involved in control of muscles governing vocal production. But crucially, studies have revealed that both of these parts in humans are larger. This is how we're able to make that leap and talk to each other. Speaking of large brains, let's look at the next bit of amazing biology that we humans have, and it's not just the size of it, but the complexity of our minds that's so amazing. We definitely don't have the biggest brains on Earth. That title belongs to the sperm whale, with theirs weighing in at a huge 20 pounds. To put that into perspective, our brain weighs 3 pounds. But what sets us apart is just how intricate and complicated ours is, and in particular, our cerebral cortex. This key part of our minds represents over 80% of our brain mass and is thought to contain 100 billion neurons. It's responsible for complex, higher thinking, such as decision-making, executive control, emotional regulation, and language. Our minds are so developed that they need a lot of power to be able to function. Amazingly, despite the fact that they make up only 2% of our body weight, they take up 25% of the energy we use. That's proof of how much we use them. The other amazing thing about our brains is our conscious thought versus unconscious thought. It might appear as though we're aware of our consciousness controlling everything that we do, and we could fix that point in the forefront of our mind. But in fact, most of what we do is unconscious and happens without us realizing it. When this happens, the process is handled by one of the most primitive parts of our brain, close to the brainstem. This is where our automatic responses come from. Sometimes, we clearly consciously go to do an action, but even when we do, there is a huge amount of unconsciousness at play, firing up to allow us to do things like pick up a ball. Although there is still a lot of research and debate over the balance of conscious versus unconscious thought, what's undoubtable is that we owe our minds a great deal when it comes to doing tasks without even having to think about them. Another thing that commonly sets humans apart is our opposable thumbs. It's a common misconception that we're the only creatures that have them. In fact, most primates have them, but the difference with us is a lot more subtle. Humans, with much longer thumbs, have the ability to stretch out our thumbs across to our other fingers, all the way to the little one. This might not seem like such a big deal, but this means that we're able to grip things in a much better way, as well as manipulate tools and other items to get them to do what we want. It's how we're able to throw balls with side spin and write with so much accuracy. It's thought that our ancestors evolved to having longer thumbs to be able to use tools more efficiently almost 2 million years ago. To go from hands better at climbing to hands better at surviving on the ground. The other key part of our biology that allowed us to use tools more effectively is our upright posture. This also sets us apart from other primates. Although other creatures similar to us, like chimps and orangutans, have the ability to walk on two legs, it's not their primary posture and they rely on using their arms to help them move. We can totally free up our arms to do various things, and this was important for hunting when we relied on this to survive. The downside of this were the changes made to our pelvis, in combination with our relatively large brains that made childbirth a lot more dangerous than it is with other animals. The other downside is lower back pain. 
we have what's known as a lumbar curve in the lower back, which helps us maintain balance as we stand and walk. However, this puts a lot of pressure on this area if we exert too much force on it, and as we get older and our lifespans increase, we're more likely to experience this. If you were to look at our primate cousins and compare them with us, one of the most noticeable differences to look at is our lack of hair. Although, that's not technically correct. In fact, we have just as many hairs as a chimpanzee per square inch. The difference is our hair is a lot shorter in comparison and almost invisible to the naked eye. There's a really good reason for this. About 2 million years ago, we adapted to miniaturized body hair while at the same time, we were also adapting to increase the number of eccrine sweat glands. Most mammals have these only on their palms and the soles of their feet, but we have them all over our body. The reason for these changes was to allow us to better run over long distances and use sweat to cool our body off. If we were to have the thick, long hair of chimps, then sweat wouldn't evaporate in the same way and we'd overheat. So far, we've looked at the more obvious and explainable biological differences between us and the creatures that we evolved from, but there are others that are more difficult to explain and are more of a mystery to us. One part of our biology that has been agreed on but is often misrepresented is the amount of senses we have. Often we are taught that we have five senses, touch, taste, smell, hearing, and sight. But in fact, there are others that help us navigate our world so effectively there's one called proprioception that covers off knowing where our bodies are in relation to the space we're in. This includes the sense of movement and position of our limbs and muscles. It's the thing that allows us to touch a finger to the tip of their nose with eyes closed. It also lets us climb steps without looking at each one. Then there are more additional subtle senses. There are neuron sensors that help to sense movement and control balance plus the tilt of the head. Specific kinesthetic receptors have been developed for detecting stretching in muscles and tendons, which helps us keep track of their limbs. Then there are other receptors that detect levels of oxygen in certain arteries in the bloodstream. All of these sensors are working in tandem all of the time to keep us safe and help us thrive. Another amazing thing about us is the way we develop our eggs. If you compare human eggs to chicken eggs, there's a very big difference, and the difference is that the chicken egg is very big, at least in comparison to ours anyway. Our eggs are made up of a single cell and are only 0.2 millimeters across, which is about the same size as a dot on a piece of paper. But what is really mind-blowing is the fact that when your mother was born, you already existed, albeit in egg form. This means you're actually a lot older than you think you are. If you're 30 years old, then add on your mother's age and you're closer to how long you've actually existed. The last thing that's amazing about our bodies are our eyes. In comparison to most animals, we have a much sharper and brighter view of the world. Research has shown that we tend to see a lot more clearly than our animal friends. The researchers look at behavioral tests and eye anatomy, such as the spacing and density of light sensing structures, to determine the amount of detail each species could detect. The studies concluded that humans could see detail four to seven times as great as cats or dogs, and more than a hundred times greater than mice. However, there are birds of prey that see in higher resolution to find small feeds on the ground. But overall with our peripheral vision, coupled with sharpness and brightness, we're the creature that has the best sense of what's around us through sight. So here's plenty of examples of what makes our biology so amazing. We've evolved to do amazing things that other animals simply can't. The reason for these developments were originally to continue our survival, but as we've made life so much easier to cope with, we've taken our basic skills and adapted them for sports, exploration, and science, amongst other things. And all of what makes our biology so amazing, we barely notice because it's all happening right now without us realizing until something goes wrong. What do you think about our insane biology? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.